probably not what you're expecting me to say. Number one, I want you to know that the Funk Brothers were like a closed club. We suffered together, we laughed together, we argued together, and we made hit records together. And we did not make hit records for white people. We did not make hit records for black people. We made hit records for everybody on the planet. And that's the excellence that we strive to have. But I have grown since that time. Of course, I've gone through the agonies of missing my friends. We've seen our children grow up. It's like a long time ago, like a dream. But I prayed to God to let me, when my time comes, to go out gracefully and give me the words to say that would let our legacy last in your mind longer than the song that you hear on the radio. I want you to remember what I'm saying to you today is not just about the Funk Brothers, it's about my devotion to God. I put him first. After Motown left, it was an oasis. I was lost, like the rest of the Funk Brothers. And when I put God first in my life, my life changed. Amen. And I began to realize how blessed I was and to realize that life is involved with peaks and valleys. Yes, and I found out that I came closest to God when I was in the valley. Yes, because when I was at the top, I was thinking about more top. <laughs> so I was in the valley and when I came out this time, I felt as though I had a purpose and I enjoyed it. And I think about my friends and I don't miss them quite as much because I know that God loved them more. And that's the way I feel today. And I hope you all leave here with that message that if you put God first, you'll achieve anything that you want and you don't even have to ask for it. That's my message to you today. Thank you. Okay. I'm Eddie Willis. I'm not going to preach. <laughs> I'm going to it up to Jack. But uh, I just want to say a few words concerning the Funk Brothers and myself and all the rest. Not only just the name that he called off, but during the Funk Brothers days, there were the rhythm section, which was growing. It grew and it grew and it grew and it broke down the mountain. It got that big. And it took many, many other musicians, for instance, like the rhythm section, it took the horns, it took violins, and it took a lot more than just the, the Funk Brothers, you see. But they didn't really stay there like the Funk Brothers did, you know, because some had other thoughts, and they, they, they moved on, you know. But I'm here to say it for them. They were a part of Funk Brothers, and they were part of Motown. Um, they're not for his names and this and that. that I have seen 50 of them already I've been here, you know, and I'm, so, I, I'm thankful to, to, uh, to just see these guys, you know, and, and, and ladies, you know. What about them? This is the union woman, you know, in Detroit. So, um, she was everybody's girl, you know. Uh, but Motown, with, his, with Barry Gordon, with his funk brothers, they, they grew and they grew and they did continue to grow, you know. And not tearing the mountain down this time, but they made it go back up all the way again. It spread out. It did spread. So why? So this and that. It, it was unbelievable, you know. You know, I mean. What we did, it was, it was the cause of a lot of people really being okay, happy, and, you know, money in pocket. I'd have to say that, you know, but, well, you know, we didn't get put money in pocket, but we were happy. And I'm here to say that, you know, and be thankful for what did go down. I know the 
car closed, they're looking at us. I want you to know that. They are here. Yes, they are. Oh, yeah. And I'm sorry. Because it's okay, Eddie. I'm sorry. Every time I start talking about these guys, I get so emotional. Unbelievable. So at now, I'm going to leave it as it is right now. And I'm thankful to Chamber of Commerce. I'm, thank I'm so thankful. I'm so thankful to all you people that are around here. You're around here. You got to know something about us, I'm so sure. And I am thankful. And I'm thankful to the Lord. Love you guys. Thanks, man. Love you, Thank you. Thank you. This, and then I'm gonna let it go. I'm, I'm so thankful to God. I really am. It's, it's no well. Now you've got religion. No, you know, it's, it's, it's not just fakey stuff, you know. I'm, I'm saying, you know, I'm glad that I do know the Lord has something to do with me still being here. You see, because I could have been gone like the rest of them, you know, but uh, I think He left me here. So I could do this. I could be here and I could speak to the guys that cannot speak for themselves. So I'm thankful. And I love everybody. I love all of you, the unbelievable, that you would not believe it, but I love all of you. And that's what we are supposed to do, love each other. We have a better world. And I do thank you. Thank you, Carnegie. Bye-bye. All right. We have a Another friend who'd like to say a few words, please acknowledge Paul Reiser. I want to say thank you. We're all blessed to be here for this time in, in history, literally. Uh, just to give you a little brief inside of me, I started Motown when I was, came out of high school, okay? Uh, it was like a college for me, literally. Uh, for 11 years, I, I spent uh, some of my greatest years there. A lot of people write music. Uh, and of course, music being the language of the world, we know that for sure. A lot of people write music, but if you don't have the, the right people to perform that music, it's just music, it's just notes. I want to say this for the Funk Brothers. They taught me that you taught me from a lot of perspectives. They threatened to beat me up. Okay, <laughs> but uh, they taught me. Uh, I came in with a lot of discipline, a lot of classical music discipline, and uh, we had fun because we had fun. Without these guys and their uh, uh, their uh, uh, their perspective on music as a unit, okay, I'm talking about as a unit. I came in as a conductor. Uh, without their perspective, the music wouldn't, my music wouldn't be as it is okay, for all these years. Uh, and I want to acknowledge somebody else in the audience also, Janie Bradford. Okay. Janie is one of the original architects of the Motown Corporation, okay, from 25, okay? Uh, along with Barry, uh, Smokey, Eddie Holland, uh, Robert Bateman. And, and uh, thank you. Oh, yeah. Now, I want to say something also about the a &R department who supported us. You know, without a good a and department, that music would not have happened the way it happened. I want to acknowledge Mickey Stevenson. Yeah. 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 Right. Yeah. Mickey Stevenson, I say this all the time, Mickey Stevenson was by far, uh, in my estimation, and uh, probably the musician's estimation, the best a and R part, part, person in Motown ever produced, okay? Because he had a, had a feel for, for us and the Funk Brothers. He kept us all in, in unity, unity, okay? Uh, so I want to thank everybody. I want to thank the Chamber, of course, uh, and all the people here. A lot of faces I haven't seen in years. I, this, is, this is a godsend, yes. okay? Yes. And I want to say thank you, everybody. Thank you once again. Let's keep the music coming. Okay? Yeah. All right. Time to unveil the star. Could all the uh, speakers please help us with that?
behind you guys? Not at all. I've never heard that before. <laughs> well, you always got to stay down. <laughs> I've always said Bill. no when the guy Bill. says Bill. 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 You're in the way. Come back. Bill. 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 Bill.